Hey Plenty friends, welcome back to another new Plenty video. Today we're gonna go plant shopping at Lowe's. Honestly, I'm really, really excited and the address will be in the description box below. So if you see any plant that you like, um, it's right there so you guys can go and buy it or check it out. <laughs> it's going to be a slowed down plant shopping video. These are usually my favorite because we can just do a really, really chill, fun, slowed down voiceover. And um, I got my little drink and we're just gonna get ready on the plant shopping so let's go let me know which plant you guys would take and also they didn't have an abundance of plants but the plants that they did have looked really really good and they had some pretty cool ones too like the brandy it was just so full so lush and it's a plant that i won't really buy but it's beautiful i love the foliage i just don't like the way it grows it needs something to climb on but we'll get more into that on the video so let's go Alrighty. Now, look at this gorgeous brandy, y'all. Oh my goodness. Ugh, just the silverness on the foliage that makes it look so good, so good. And I like that little heart shape. And it's only, you guys can hear the audio from the background. Okay, just muted it. Um, it's $16.98. These little cash pops are super duper cute. They look like cows, like the little pattern kind of. They're just basic circles, but they kind of give off cow vibes. This pepperonia, it's stunning, y'all. It's a very, very common basic pepperonia but it's almost very difficult to kill it they, they i don't know like it's really really when they, i know they need water when the leaves turn soft they're kind of like bendable and they're nice and firm when they're really really happy so as long as you like do the little leaf test it's almost impossible to kill and then this is an asparagus fern which is almost the complete opposite <laughs> it's so pretty the camera can never pick up the tiny little leaves and um I always kill it. Like this plant needs humidity and it likes to stay moist. A while back I had it, but I don't know what happened. I just lost luck or something, or maybe it liked it where it was before or the, the planter, but it died on me. And then these cute little arrangements have like a bunch of different plants inside. So that's really, really fun to give as gifts or we well, usually they're used as, as gifts, but a green hardy philodendron, a croton. I think next to it was a purple waffle plant. And then here at the very top is a beautiful rattlesnake, like Calathea. I do love the little basket, it's super duper cute. And then uh, rattlesnake like Calathea is just like such an iconic plant, like they're just amazing. And I remember when I was first getting into plants and my grandma bought a plant online and it was from the, the sale. I think it was like six, maybe six or maybe about to be seven years ago. And she got her rattlesnake calathea. It was pretty cool. And then here is this beautiful Diffenbachia. Not quite sure what it's actually called, but the leaves are so massive and they have the most beautiful like foliage. Like, it's just so big. Beautiful. The fiddles in the background, which I don't think we do a close-up shot, but I love fiddles. I need to get a fiddle, but I know I should probably wait until we move out and then I can get a fiddle. The different backers are really cheap. They're only $19.98 and they're pretty big. And this is a Monstera. I don't know why they call it split leaf, but it's a Monstera Deliciosa for $22.98. These bonnie curly spider plants were so massive and huge especially this one it's massive i've never seen one this full even the babies look jumbo like they look huge as well just love how curly the leaves are look at that oh my goodness it's just beautiful i don't know i i love common plants i just think they're so there's just something about them i know some people are like more are enthusiastic as you can say like they want like the rare or like collectible ones right but i'll never get bored of my golden potos or my bonnie curly, curly spider plants or fiddle or drancina like i'll never get bored of it i just i love them so much and i just love how like they're affordable and the reason why they're sold a lot is because they're like reliable like they don't really die um so I just love that about them, that they're very resilient. And this is a, I can never, I, I always forget about this name, I don't know why. It's called a fig or ficus. Uh, 
what is it called? Vicus Pomila or Bellas. Bellas. She's super duper cute, but the leaves are super duper thin, and I feel like it needs high humidity. And Alexa's like, <laughs> Alexa's taking moist consistently, so I don't know if it's gonna do good with me. But here are some Moonlight Skin Dapses. I love the iconic stripe in the middle. It makes each leaf stand out. It's just, it's beautiful. From the Trending Tropicals collection. Have y'all seen? So I'm following them on like almost everything. And on Facebook, I saw on their stories that they have a, a new aglonema. And it almost looks like the global green, but it's like aglonema leaf form. This is 548, this beautiful African violet. But yeah, like it's pretty cool. I'm really excited to see that. I'm still trying to find the variegated peace lilies or domino peace lilies. Somebody told me there's there's a difference, like especially by the texture of the leaves, which I, I, I get that now. Um, because I was like, it's almost the same thing. There are some really fun coniferous plants. But I'm looking for that variegated peace lily, y'all. Like I want another one. The first one that I got, I I got it from Plantarina four years ago and now it's massive and it's getting ready to like get repotted again which i'm just terrified to do because it's doing so good like and then here's a calathea i love how they're in, they're in these wick and grow pots i don't know i feel like a lot of you guys some of you guys can relate i'm always scared to repot a plant especially when it's doing so good in its planter and I, sometimes i repot them and then they just like i get it they're in shock they you know and they just don't grow as they were before or like doing good as before and people also just give them time because like they just had shock but um no it's just it's not the same so i i want to repot my my variegated peace lily or my dominant peace lily but i'm just so scared <laughs> here are some rubber trees i call them that that's the most that's i mean i know you guys know the names of these but and i always say i'm gonna label mine and I never do because I never want to find, I don't know, I gotta find the label machine. I lost it. <laughs> but this is a pretty good price, $22.98. They're both $22.98. See? That's a pretty good deal. It just looks so good together. I love it. That John Cena was so pretty, I'm surprised they didn't even show it. I think it's called Limelight. No, it's a different one. Then here are some more Drancinas. They're they're called Lucky Bamboos, but they're in the Drancina family. Fifteen ninety-eight. Just kinda sad how they Yeah. How they glue the rocks. Which I get it, so it doesn't make a mess, but it makes it kinda hard to like water them or when you want to repot them. It gets kinda messy. Here are some cute little baby monsteras. Oh my goodness, they're just little babies. They haven't gotten their illustrations yet. I always want to buy one, but because it's super duper cute and it's the most rewarding thing out there. When it starts putting out illustrations, and this is $27.98. Honestly, I think it's a planter because it's so heavy. It's really, really heavy. But um, I don't know why they get very leggy with me. I bought one a while back and multiple times a while back because they're just so pretty when they're like that like I, I wish they can stay like that but they get leggy and it's because they need a lot of light honestly like they need a lot of light <laughs> if not they start stretching and notice that and here's a beautiful drancina i noticed that the the, the ones have illustrations the more mature ones they are not that like finicky like they won't get too leggy on you um Compared to the baby ones, so it's a little observation I've seen. $27.98 because of that fancy planter or cash pot. So I'm gonna take a little sip. Oh, that's so good. And then here's another little baby. $26. I do love the cash pot. It's super duper cute. And this specific plant looks adorable too. I just love how it has four leaves. I think it's a like ficus or fig. And then these snake plants, which I already knew they're going to be so expensive. Um, 
these planters i mean they're nice they're really really nice but girl 48.98 the snake ones look kind of cute and then you guys are emerald oh my goodness at first i thought it was full of the drum, but it's not and i know this one's called emerald something like that they're very thirsty <laughs> Even mine, like, it would always look like this. I would water it, and it would just, like, dry up within a couple days, which was insane. Here are some more cute vining plants. I love, love these catch pots. Um, they're, like, in hanging, right? This is a beautiful neon potos. And then here is a stunning green heart leaf dendron. I just want to take, like, all four of them, which you're going to see in a bit. There's, there's actually five varieties. Um, here is a Marble Queen Potos. Some might say it's a Snow Queen. I think it's the same thing. And then over here, it's a uh, Lemon Lime Philodendron. Mm -hmm. $17, which is kind of expensive, but the pots are really, really cute. And then here's a Brazil, which is always my fave. So all five of them will be like such a cute gift. Kind of an expensive gift but who doesn't want to have that hanging next to their window like that would be so cute when i saw this i was like what is this but i think it's from the mineral deposit or like fertilizer or like something from like because on all occasions get a lot of like spider mites and stuff like that they probably spray something to keep them healthy and to not get spider mites in the nurseries that's probably what it is i don't think it's something bad um this snake plant's so cute it almost looks like a bird's nest. I know there's some snake plants like, like a bird nest, something like that. And like a black dragon sense of area. Here's a money tree all alone. And it looks really, really good. Look at that. 15 98 That's not bad. And they get pretty big pretty fast. Especially if you give, if you give it a lot of light. Just showing them to you again because they're super duper cute. I love me some vining plants. I was debating on making a video of my favorite vining plants, which is basically all five of those. But in my own personal collection, like how much they've gotten big and stuff like that. And then here's more of them. Basically the same stuff, except they have this one, which is a potos enjoy. Or it could be a glacier potos. But looking at the little um, freckles. I don't know, and then sometimes they, they mix them. <laughs> so this looks like a glacier potos. But the other one, the other piece of it looked like a potos enjoy. It gets confusing. But it's cute and it's beautiful. And then I saw this, saw this and I was like, what is this? They just placed a pepperonia uh, from Costa Farm, the exotic angels, on one of these things. It looks kind of cute in that little planter. And then these arrangements are also really, really cute. So here are some air plants. Yeah, I'm kind of sad. I just remembered I had like a lot of air plants and they were doing so good. But I left them at the greenhouse like months ago at my grandma's and I don't have any more. I would love to get some again down the line not right now. But air plants are really, really fun. And then these little guys, oh my goodness, they're just so cute. I'm not sure if it's actually something. I think they're just like little cute figures. But six on the eight, that's a really good price. And like, that's a cute gift for like a teacher or something like that, you know? A teacher. Or even for herself. <laughs> $25 for these nice, these look really, really bougie. I do like it a lot. Some more common plants but they look really good those trancinas oh i just love how wide and long the leaves are and then some beautiful calatheas and honestly i was kind of rushing because like they were about to close but here is this nice looking i'm not 
sure exactly what it's called but i do know it's a fetonia or aka nerve plant because it looks like a nerve the the leaves you see all those lines and then next to it is this teddy bear vine and then at the very back moving the ivy it's the same thing but it's like red or pink i think it's pink to be honest the color and they have flowers they're blooming and the very very back there was a green spider plant so the, oh no it's a hawaiian my bad because we're gonna see one later on and it's the same one but it's hawaiian and then there's a green spider plant the same thing but just green and then there's another spider plant which is like a bonnie spider plant the curly one but it's green and we found that as well that'll be really fun to get to collect all green oh my god all variety of spider plants see this one it's not a green spider plant it's a hawaiian spider plant and so people have been telling me it's it's pretty uncommon but now i've been seeing them a lot so i'm guessing they're producing a lot of them a lot of them but um and i mean i would i wouldn't really see these especially like two years ago i'll always see bonnie or the other looks like a bonnie but it's just not curly it's really pretty though and it's very healthy it's very massive and full Usually there's only like three little plants and like they're barely pulling through. And then here is a hanging basket of begonias. Look at that. I'm really curious how they're gonna grow. Like are they gonna trail down or are they gonna like do like what like almost what a Maranto would do? I've never really seen a begonia in a hanging basket, like vining. I should probably like Google that. And here's more Drancina. There's so many Drancinas. <laughs> A very full, lush, green heart leaf philodendron. Or Heredesium, is that how they say it? Look at these massive plants. And then here's a dog tail cactus. Look at those little hands. They look so cute. Oh my goodness. It's pretty cool. And all of the hanging baskets from Coastal Forum or Exotic Angels are twenty dollars. So that's why I don't really show the prices on those because we all know those are twenty dollars. Here's a white knight, and this was the best they've let us on the plants. Everything else looked pretty bad. Well, not that variegated, but look at that leaf. And it was only twenty dollars as well. E this was pretty big and massive, very lush. And that is basically it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me and going plant shopping at Lowe's. Let me know which plant you guys would take home. Honestly, a lot of the Drincinos are speaking to me right now. They're just so beautiful and I love foliage. I'm a foliage kind of person. Like, I would cut off the flowers and just enjoy the foliage. But the reason why I cut off the flowers is because, like, they say that it takes a lot of energy. So I'd rather cut it off and make it produce more leaves than putting it on a flower that's not really going to produce seeds. But, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!